Hey guys, it's the Wood Baron. Ugh. So I uploaded this video last night, and turns out I screwed up on the uh, volume. <laughs> what a fitting end for this video. Yeah, this is a pretty bad video, by the way. It's this is the only video I recorded last night, even though I recorded like 20 today. But last night I decided I was gonna upload this because I was having an extremely bad day. <sighs> and I guess the end of the video. In the end, this video was just a complete failure because uh, I couldn't hear me and I actually forgot to save it so I have none of the audio file so I couldn't edit it again. So, this looks like I'm actually doing this commentary for the third... No, fourth time. It's the fourth time's a charm. Oh, anyways, anyways, anyways. What does it matter? Uh, I was playing on some Operation Metro. Uh, was not enjoying myself, I could not do anything. I don't know what was going on, I just had a bad game. Yes, we do end up winning, but you can just see that I'm pretty much just the most useless player on this team. I do get, I think, one MCOM, <laughs> MCOM armed, and that's coming up in like five minutes. This is about 15 minutes long. I did not want to edit it, I just wanted to show you how bad I was playing last night. And, yeah, no, it's been like this uh, the last couple days, except for, the, like, before today should say before I redid this video. I was having bad game after bad game. I stopped playing with people because I was just it was just getting to me like I was driving me nuts. I could not play anything. So I stopped even I basically stay offline right now. Um I also didn't have a mic for a couple days so some people I did play with a couple people and they sent me a party invite and I'd have to send out a message back saying I didn't have a mic. Yeah long story. Anyways, just a bad game I had. I just like sharing with you guys. Just had bad luck. Um, like yesterday, uh, just I mean, I'm working on this project, trying to get this thing called a petty bona out the door. And basically, I just got to finish the brakes up on it. But I can't finish the brakes because the guy, the guy working on the other side of it, he keeps fucking up. And when I say fuck up, I mean he fucks everything up. This guy has caused more damage to machines that are sh at the school than anyone else ever. Like, I think they were tallying it up, it's up in the like, fifteen, twenty thousand dollars on him. And he, it's just the stupidest things he does, like he just pulled a clutch out of a, he, what we had to do is pull a tranny, re and re a clutch, and uh, he fucked that up, put two, he fucked two clutches, the transmission, airlines, brakes on that thing, he fucked the engine governor somehow. Like this thing, this guy is a walking catastrophe, and I'm working on the other side of him. And he thinks he, he's the best there ever was, and he's like the best mechanic in the world. And yet everyone's like yells at him every day. He gets treated like shit. He's the basically our mascot for our class. Uh, we drew up uh, a guy named Nelson in our class. Drew a raccoon with big eyes, sniffing through garbage. And there's a little. Our uh, little thing describing says, Hi, I'm blank and blank. I don't want to name the guy's name. But, uh, anyways, hey, I got knife right here. I could not turn around fast enough. And, oh, this is where I break my controller. That was one of the other bad things that happened yesterday, is I uh, broke the right thumbstick. I actually replaced the board and I had an old controller. And so, yeah, that's why this video is 15 minutes long, it's because I actually have another controller. But I replaced the board in it last night when I was bored. Anyways, back to this guy. We made uh, a cartoon. It's a raccoon, big bulging eyes, sifting through garbage, and it just basically it's an introduction to who this guy is and how he fucks everything up. And we have pictures of him getting run over by uh, the Tiger Cat. Or no, the uh, 928 loader. And it says somehow he got run over in park and stuff like that. And, well, there was another one of him setting an engine on fire. He caught a uh, little V6 on fire, he's caught the Tiger Cat on fire, he's caught a truck on fire, he's caught a couple batteries on fire, yeah, no, this kid's a walking catastrophe, and yeah, now he's holding me back, and I'm about to flip, shit, because I've already told my instructor I'm not working near him ever again, and that I'm lively to punch the fucking kid out, so, on Monday, I'm going to have to offer to kick his ass off the project and get my ass on the other side of it and we'll finish it. 
Because I can finish it in a day and a half. And then I can get both done and get it out the door. And finally be done with that shit. Uh, yeah, see, this is, I've been, I was, yesterday was a stressful day. Plus, I also quit smoking. And I just got all stressed out all of a sudden. And then I had to deal with stupid paperwork for school. To, so I could graduate. The only way we can graduate is if we just fill out the stupid sheet. And the sheet is basically, do you want to, uh, do you want to go to your grad ceremony or do you want to receive a certificate in the mail? Well, nobody in our course wants to go to the grad ceremony because we're all going to be working. Like, this course is not about, like, oh, hey, we're going in for a fucking doctor and blah, blah, blah. Let's go to a grad ceremony. No, we're here to learn something and then go out into the work field. Like, I have to go, I have to head to Vancouver in two weeks to go work for Caterp uh, Finning Caterpillar for a month. And see, uh, you see, it's work. This is not about being a little knowledge whore and going, getting good diplomas, and you can go and do your little ceremony. You know, so we want to have to, we have to get a certificate, but they don't automatically mail it to you. You have to actually sign up to have it mailed to you. So, yeah, and the office hours aren't really. <laughs> they're not friendly to us in the tech department. So. We haven't been, no, no one in our course has been able to go do it. They all have had to go do it online. And spent two, no, three hours in total trying to log on to my stupid, like, student account. Hey, look, I am armed an MCOM. I forgot about that. I was looking at headphones for some reason. Uh, but yeah, so I spent like three hours doing that, logging on, and uh, well, the reason why is just the password is screwed up, and, and I put my student number in wrong, and then I locked my account out when I accidentally put my password in wrong, so I had to spend hours debating it, and fighting, and doing stupid shit to go around it. Finally got in, filled it out, it took fucking 30 seconds to fill the fucking thing out, it took three hours to get onto it. Uh, so yeah, I was pretty livid yesterday. Then breaking the controller was another fu fucking fun point. And then just playing with a bunch of jackasses that were just running the G36 or the FOMOS or the USAS. And uh, well, what do you expect on Operation Metro? And I should have quit while I was ahead, even though know, I never got ahead. Um, yeah, but I did miss the first half. Of the like, I forgot to. I didn't forget to record. I just started recording because I wanted to show you how bad I was doing. That's what it was. But uh, what I did earlier in the match is I did unlock my. I finally got my service star for the assault class, which I'm kind of proud of. Uh, I've been using the HK 2002 or whatever it's called. Or, I don't even know, like KH or something. I actually completely forgot what the damn thing's called. Um, I just started using it. I first time I ever used it, I had a horrible freaking time with it, and it was useless. And then I just started using it the other day, and I had a match. My first match using it again was like a couple days ago, an Operation Metro, and I went like thirty and six with the the KH two thousand two. And yeah, no, for a burst weapon, it's pretty good. I hate that they, uh, I don't like some of the sights you get with it. I never really liked that PSO 1. Drives me nuts. <sighs> so yeah, I just feel like showing you a bad video. Yeah. Damn. Yeah, no, it was pretty bad day. And then the other fun part is I had to do this commentary like three times. This is number four. And yeah, now I'm running out of stuff to say. And I'm tired. I mean, today was a good day. Uh, got to actually sleep in for once. It was kind of nice. And yeah, when I did play Battlefield, I actually had a lot of good games in a row. I think I lost a total of like three or four, and out of maybe ten or fifteen. 
I won. Oh, I don't know. I can't remember. <laughs> no, it's been a good day. Yeah, I don't know how many I won. I was gonna check, but I don't know. <laughs> Yeah, we're on the boat. Eleven. Lost four. Three. Sorry, I actually only lost three. Holy shit. According to battle log. <laughs> Anyways, I'm just gonna leave you over with the last part of this video. Uh, there's only a few minutes left, but I don't feel like talking anymore. So you guys have a good night. See ya.